All right, so in this video, I'm going to try to connect uh, to my lab for that. I'm gonna follow this instruction. This is no way a an expert video. It's a trial and error study with me kind of video. So that's what it is. Now let's go. Download and open in terminal. I have that ready. Okay, sudo open VPN. That is the command to uh, start the open VPN. enter authenticated username so basically what I've done is that I've given this command to go to a uh, to my lab now you can see that this is the file that I typed the name uh, traffic sniffing OVPN and if I go back there you can see traffic sniffing sniffing OVPN now it's asking me the username authenticated username password it is not the one that we uh, did from the last one it's basic actually from uh, this one that oh god okay uh, I cannot cross copy I can no rather than cross copy let's open it here if I can go there I don't want to risk uh, copying and then only to find out that I am mistyped something. I wish we could make the this uh, window is there. Uh, the my apologies and <laughs> there's a few more things going on on my computer I wish there was a way to um, make this uh, window bigger for the the VM uh, window the actual but I have to live with it for now so this is the lab that I'm accessing it's all the way at the bottom uh, resume lab <coughs> I'll probably have to download the new file. Oh no, it's there. Okay. Uh, let's go. That is the username. Copy it. Okay, and let's try to go to terminal. Paste it here. Hmm. Let's get the error again. Username. Paste then paste enter password again copy it and paste it here enter and receive process restarting i think we are connected udb link remote we are connected right here okay so if we were to go to a uh, that page again there was a public view address this Let's try to log in here and see if it's timing out or are we able to see the page. If it times out, it means that we're not connected to VPN. 
and if we see the load page let's see processes restarting handshake failed connection fail probably because of the uh, the file I think each time it's new file and I have the older file so I can download VPN file again save file it's probably gonna say hey there is already a file with the name is it no there is a new one now this one is the new one so let's go ahead and delete this let's go ahead and rename it let's go back to our VPN oh, sorry terminal how do we exit control C yes all right so we're gonna start it again let's copy it copy paste enter copy you can see it's still working like waiting so it's gonna time out because we're not connected to VPN paste and peer connection initiated with sequence complete I believe so you see it's timed out now if we refresh it it should okay now we are connected to VPN so that was it now the other part of the lab is that you have to actually where I can go up and down here uh, what an issue log in refresh it it should log me in log in <clears throat> okay so now we have to go to the instructions for the instruction i can see probably here it says finished <laughs> i did not so let's launch wireshark So this lab is about that uh, how to capture traffic. What's the difference between the traffic that is encrypted and non-encrypted? Now we're gonna I don't see using this filter if I click on start okay mm. tab 0 I don't see the tab 0 members area After starting the lab and downloading the VPN files, Cisco Remote Capture, Cisco DOM, Monitor Capture, Random Packet, System D General Export, SSH Remote Capture, this. No. All right, so what's this? Start capturing packets. I guess I have to get the Kali Linux then. Cause configuration, configuration, configuring this has been UPFP dump. permission denied so there is some sort of permission issues probably and I don't see the tab uh, settings all right so let's pause this video here all right so here it is I found uh, 
I shouldn't have had uh, press yes if you remember from the last video when we installed I did that now I have to fix that so to fix it let's go here control C to get out of that uh, VPN connection I'm gonna sudo user mode dash a remember uh, with this Linux is uh, case sensitive Let's reboot it. And once it's back, we'll try that Wireshark again. Alternately, we could use the sudo Wireshark as well. Let's keep this window open. <coughs> I'm gonna pause the video until I am back in Wireshark. All right, so I'm back in my Ubuntu virtual machine and come on terminal let's start sudo shock first Okay, and oh, she didn't have probably, maybe. Let's uh, minimize it. I uh, will uh, actually uh, run another terminal window. Let's go with uh, that link. What was it? Sudo. Not this, this one. So here's the command. Okay, sudo open VPN, HTTPS, traffic, something dot VPN. It should ask me for the password. Nope. More information. What happened here? Open VPN. VPN off, connect. Cancel. I don't have it here. I have it here. Strange. Okay. Let's go and minimize this. Minimize this. Exit out of here. Status running is Wireshark running.
I hate this. Alright, so let's pause the video here so let me see what's the problem. I think I'm gonna try this system CTL restart system CTL restart nope CTL restart network manager right okay now let's try Still, hmm, what changed? Network manager is enabled. Oh, oh, CD. I know what it is. It's this one. LS, CD. Okay, that's the problem. Now we can run. Sudo. There you go. You have to uh, run the command from the directory where that uh, file is, or you have to give the full path. How stupid. Well, that's how you learn. That is trial and error. Okay. Copy it. Paste it. Our connection is strong. Let's keep going. Let's go open a new terminal window. New window sudo wireshark now I have the tab 0 if you can see uh, if I go here you can see tab 0 now I can connect now this is properly connected and I can capture that traffic if I go back uh, to can I go side by side uh, I open the li that link here no it will not because I'm connected VPN in here so we're gonna select tab 0 we're gonna go to our uh, this one and I am connected let's refresh it one more time I am connected so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the username and password so that was uh, you can see
okay provided credentials Now the username and passwords were, let's try, and uh, the username has open, password is open, we go to our Wireshark, click capture, while it's going to capture any traffic, if we hit login, don't save, and we have wrong credentials, and if we go to Wireshark, it has captured something. How we check what it is we right click it and follow tcp stream and you can see the username i entered was open and password i over entered was open now this is pretty readable now i have to go find the actual passwords i'm going to pause the video here so this is the correct username and password what i'm going to do is since it's still capturing uh i can go ahead clear it everything is cleared we're gonna go back to our window we're gonna refresh it oh no shouldn't have we have to go like this we go over there let's get back to our wireshark window it has resent it i'm gonna clear it out of here let's and use these credentials that is ELSS student ELS student and the password is test password click login don't say oh, I saved it welcome ELS student now I am logged in and if I go to Wireshark again right click follow TCP stream you can see in when the data was sent in clear text non encrypted meaning HTTP uh, you can see actually HTTP uh, the protocol used uh, everything was in plain text so we have the username ELS student here and password is test password exactly this thing now we're gonna encrypt it let's clear it out here again we're gonna remove login and we're gonna add HTTPS you can see right now over here it's HTTP we're gonna do HTTPS and now we're gonna go oh, what happened Right, so we're gonna go HTTP. What is happening? Oh, maybe it's this one. Oh, there is, my apologies. The reason is that this is the HTTP port uh, address the HTTPS port is um, 10.54.15.15 and you can see now I'm an HTTPS you can see that I'm getting a even though it's HTTPS I'm getting a warning these warnings normally are whether when the certificate is expired but there is another way, uh, reason why you see these warning especially on the intranet we are remember we are connected over vpn so we are over the we are using we are part of the local network of this lab uh, this is if you go here self sign certificate if you click uh, view certificate it shows you the certificate and the signing body that who signed it
So since it's a self certificate, oh, um, see, <laughs> wow, that's a long time ago. All right, so we go. Advance, accept risk and continue. We're still secure connection. We're gonna still use the. Uh, let's let's use the. You know that I'm typing the correct one, right? T E S T P A S S T U R D. I'm gonna log in. Don't save. It tells me welcome student, but if I go to my Wireshark. You see this colors are changed it's no longer green if I click on follow TCP stream nothing here but it didn't get anything hmm we're gonna reset it and go back in there login again ELS student I guess it doesn't matter if I even if I all right so I'm logged in again Wireshark has some data this time you can already see it's not readable just by here let's go click right here follow TCP stream and there it is everything is garbage garble uh, unreadable so that is the power of HTTPS versus the HTTP I am so glad that I was able to not only finish this lab like I saw in the video uh, the other part was that I did not use uh, Kali I use my regular Ubuntu you can see in the video they use Kali everything is built in they just showed their way how to do it uh, so in this one, I configured OpenVPN, I configured uh, this Wireshark, and now I was able to f get exactly the same uh, results. Uh, it's, uh, so it's not, it wasn't a ditto of uh, what I saw earlier today, maybe around, it's 3.22 a.m. I saw the video, uh, the, maybe around six o'clock in the evening, so, I've been messing with this thing for at least now three hours uh, uh, setting things up and all that I am glad so if you like this study with me trial and error session um, please rate comment subscribe and share I hope it has helped you I do hope it certainly did to me all right so let's wrap this here and I will see you in the next one